Have you ever wanted to simulate water coming out of a faucet? Or showcase a shower head through which water is pouring? Maybe you wanted to simulate that cozy fireplace that adds warmth to the interior. Or maybe you just wanted to create a really epic volcano scene while not getting anyone hurt in the process. Well, all of that is right in the comfort zone of Chaos Phoenix, a popular VFX tool used to create all kinds of simulations. And the good news is that with the new Corona Premium subscription, a Phoenix license is included, along with many other extras beyond just Corona itself. But that does mean that if you are on Premium and you have access to 3ds Max or other 3D host software that Phoenix is compatible with, then you can start making use of it in your projects today. Now in this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can install Phoenix, and then we'll also point you in the direction where you can learn more about Phoenix itself, as well as where you can acquire some really cool example scenes. So to get started with Chaos Phoenix, you first need to go ahead and download it from the Chaos website. Just log in, go under My Products, and then Downloads. Here, you'll want to click on the Phoenix for 3ds Max button, and then you can choose the version of 3ds Max you're running. And then here, just hit the download button on the latest version. Now, don't worry about the fact it says V-Ray 6 because it also says Other, and the Other includes Corona. So any version will do because for Corona, it really doesn't matter. Once you get the file downloaded, you just follow the instructions laid out for you in the installer itself and you'll be good to go. Alright, so with Chaos Phoenix installed, just open up 3ds Max and you'll notice you have this shiny new Phoenix toolbar that you can dock anywhere you'd like to. So just put it whatever it makes the most sense to you. And that is really all that there is to it. That's how you set up Phoenix so that it works with Corona. Now at this point, it is worth mentioning that if you are a new Phoenix user and you want to create all kinds of different effects, like water coming out of a faucet or a volcano spitting fire and lava, well, we recommend watching our Phoenix tutorials we have on our Chaos YouTube account. And if you like to tinker with existing scenes, well, we also highly recommend th going through the cool list of example scenes we have available for you on the Phoenix Docs page. No, you don't have to remember that URL. Just follow the links in the description of this video as they'll take you directly to the correct web page. Just note one thing with these scenes, you'll have to run the Corona converter so that the non-Phoenix parts of the scenes get converted over to Corona. Now it probably goes without saying, but we're excited to see what you'll end up simulating and we'd encourage you to share your results over on our forums. That's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, Take care, people.